you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sasha from BeautyChameleon.com and in today's video will be a review on the new hair I just purchased from Haley'sCurls.com. If you have seen Haley'sCurls.com, a lot of reviews on YouTube and you're kind of curious, how does the hair work? Does it really work? How do I use it? Stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so welcome back. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this video is going to be um, lapsed over time. I'm going to talk about the hair I purchased from Haley'sCurls.com. I'm going to talk about what it is, um, what it does, and I'm also going to show you how to prepare the hair before your installation and then the final look for this total review. But I um, came across Haley's Curls um, through a YouTuber. Her name was XX. Island, the Island Beauty or Island Beauty, it is XX the Island Beauty. And when she did a review as far as making her own um, weaving system, she showed Haley's curls. And I was really impressed just about the appearance of the hair, um, impressed with her review of the hair as far as how well it's maintained for her for months, and um, just the overall capabilities of being a stylist without having that frizzing and the building and matting of the hair so I decided to purchase this hair myself and try it out and share with you guys so the first thing I know many people usually ask well how long did it take for you to get your order because I know me I sometimes don't like to order things online so I get kind of worried when I order things online because I'm worried if I'm going to get the same thing I expected I'm worried about shipping time and all that fun stuff but to my surprise I placed this order on July 16th which I believe it was a Friday and when I got home from work on Monday and that's July 19th. My husband had a package on my chair and it was from Haley'sCurls.com. I am not joking, you guys. My hair came in a package. It was shipped um, U.S. Priority Mail. So I got my package. And inside was the invoice from Haley'sCurls.com. And then it also included a business card. And the hair that they carry is the, is the Supreme Malaysian Remy hair. And I ordered the Salon Relax. The Salon Relax is supposed to resemble the African American hair, our hair texture, as if it was relaxed. So that's what I ordered. And the length that I ordered was a 12 inch, because I like to layer my hair, so I ordered a 12 inch. And right now the hair, I'm not too sure if it's still on sale after shooting this video, but the hair was on sale. For a 14 inch, the regular price is $94, and it was on sale for $79, and then I also ordered the 12 inch, which is the regular price of the 12 inch, is $89, and it was on sale for $71. So definitely, if you're looking to try this hair, I would encourage you to go to the website and take advantage of this sale to save you some money when you're ordering some nice hair. Um, I like that they have, you know, a return policy and they also tell you about how to take care of exchanges and everything so that's very important especially when you're buying hair for the first time and you're not too sure if this is going to be the right hair for you and all that fun stuff now a little bit about the hair since it is um, they say since it is a virgin Malaysian Remy hair the hair only comes in a dark brown to almost black color so you're not going to be able to pick out a 1B30 or any colors it just comes in its natural state which is kind of good because you know the hair is not overly processed and if you do want to add color to the hair, you can always um, color it. And I would suggest letting your stylist do that for you <laughs> because I don't want to say, go ahead and color your hair and it damages it. So talk to your hairstylist about that. And what the hair is, it came in a packaging like this. So I got the 12 inch hair. It comes in here like that. And then I also got the 14 inch hair. So it says Haley's Curls beautiful hair for beautiful women and it's a supreme Malaysian Remy hair 14 inches and it comes in a pack just like that okay now as far as the way I feel about the hair right now since I haven't done anything to it yet this is what the hair looks like it's already wrapped so the wefts are right here wrapped down kind of typically like you get from your hair store and this is the hair itself now the hair texture does feel like, you know, it feels a little coarse. It's pretty thick, I have to say. It's very thick. So what they recommend before you use this hair, and again, it's, it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to keep my hair at its natural color, you can see on top. <laughs> and I'm going to use this hair. 
Now, what they recommend before you install this hair is actually to take care of it and wash it. And which I do recommend, you want to do that. And what I love, because a lot of times you get the hair, you're like, what products can I use on the hair? What do you recommend to wash it with so you don't damage the hair? I like that if you go to their website, and that's um, haleyscurls.com, you can go to hair care. And I printed out eight pages from my computer and it will tell you what type of, it will recommend what type of shampoos you should use in the hair. You can always email them too and ask questions too. But I like the fact they tell you what products they recommend to use in the hair and they also tell you how to get the hair prepped before you actually get the hair installed. You're probably asking, what do you do to the hair before you get installed? Okay, so today is Friday and I washed my hair actually on Wednesday, I believe. And um, what they recommend before you use this hair is actually prep the hair and hydrate it. So I'll show a slide in a second, but they had to hydrate the hair. And they recommended products for you to use for this hair for prepping it before install. And the products that I decided or that I picked up according to the website, they recommended to get the Dove Advanced Therapy Hair Shampoo Conditioner and Leave-In Conditioner. And when I went to my local HEB, I did not see advanced therapy, but I came across the um, Dove Damage Therapy Shampoo. So I emailed the company, Haley's Curls, and they got back to me right away. I said, hey, I saw the product that you recommend, but when I went to the store, they did not have that. And they said, basically, it's the same thing. So I picked up the um, Damage Therapy, and it's a intensive, intensive care or intensive repair shampoo, conditioner, fish control and then they also recommended a leave-in conditioner. I did not see the leave-in conditioner for this line. I even went to dove.com and there is not a leave-in conditioner. So what I decided to do and test on this hair for myself and maybe they may want to recommend this to other companies. I decided to pick up the um, L'Oreal and it's the new Everpure Sulfate Free Color System. This is actually just a moisturizer leave-in condition for the hair. It has rosemary and mint, but I use that one. It's lightweight. There's no, for what I saw, I didn't see any alcohol on this product. Um, I'm looking at it right now. So nothing to agitate the cuticle and everything else is just natural extracts and oils. So I'm, I'm trying that for the leave-in conditioner. And when you wash your hair, they recommend for actually to hydrate the hair. So what I did before I got started, they recommend to take a basin of warm water and you want to dilute it with the hair with the conditioner actually. You're going to do a cold wash with the hair. So I used the Dove conditioner and actually let that soak in the water for an hour. So this is what it looks like. And after it's soaked, I then rinsed out the conditioner and then I went ahead and did a shampoo with it and I used this particular product. I have to say these Dove shampoos smell very wonderful and um, I don't feel when I use these products they didn't leave the hair feeling coarse and agitated and rough so I definitely would actually recommend to use this on the hair and your actual hair as well so I'm going to be using this for a while. But after I let it dry or shampooed it, I conditioned it again and they recommend for you to put it in a plastic bag. It's kind of like if you're doing your own deep conditioning on your own hair. A lot of times um, hair care stylists would recommend that they condition your hair and they'll put a bag and have you sit underneath the dryer. Well, I put this in a bag and let it sit for about five minutes. I rinsed it out and then what I did is apply the fist control and let the and I also applied the um, leave-in conditioner. And I let the hair air dry for a couple of days before I decide to seal the whip. So I have my 12 inch air and this is what it looks like when it's washed. It actually feels just a little bit softer after wash. It smells really nice with that Dove product but um, it's really soft and um, ready for install. I also have my 14 inch hair and I'll bring that out as well. Okay and here is the 14 inch hair reason why I got a 12 inch and a 14 inch because I want to kind of have the hair just a little bit layered so it can be shorter toward the top, kind of like this, and then longer toward the bottom. So that's the reason for the 14 inches, but it still looks really nice. Everything's laying nice and smooth. And again, this is the Salon Relaxed Malaysian Hair. Now, they do recommend to seal the wet. So you're probably wondering, sealing the wet? Well, they recommend to seal the wefts because that'll help avoid the hair shedding a lot. And so I was contemplating back and forth, do I want to seal the wefts? And um, I ended up doing it. It was a project. You have to first of all wait for the hair to dry. And it took about a couple days for the hair to air dry. 
and last night, which was Thursday, I was sealing the weft. Now, for what they recommend to use to seal the weft is actually, and it's called Aileen Stop Fraying, and it's actually a glue to help fa fabric hems from fraying. This glue dries clear, and they recommend for you to seal both sides of the weft. Now, would I recommend doing that? Well, I did seal the weft, and let me tell you, it was a project. First of all, it had the hair on a flat surface or you can use a head, uh, mannequin head to do it with, but I put it on a flat surface in my kitchen and I sealed one side of the wet. And the reason why I did that, I'm gonna just show you up close. You see that? It's kind of shiny. Even though the glue dry cleared, just like so, it's kind of shiny. So if I would have done that to both sides of the wet, if you were to get this installed and have some light shining in your head, you would see the reflection through your natural hair. So I really didn't like that. So I'm going to test and see if this just sealing one side of wefts will help minimize the shedding of this of the hair in general. And I'm going to see if it's even worth um, sealing the wefts. I mean, many of you guys have worn Haley Curls. Let me know. But um, did you seal the wefts? Was it worth your time filling the web? So let me know because I'm going to try this and if it works, great. If not, I probably won't do it again for another install. After doing this, I am ready to get my hair installed. So again, um, tomorrow is Saturday and um, I have an appointment with her tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, if I can't make it with her tomorrow, I'll be meeting with her on Sunday. So she's going to take this hair out and um, I'm going to get everything deep washed, clarified washed, um, relaxed and all that fun stuff and it's just going to go ahead and install this new hair so stay tuned I will be right back hopefully I will have again some slides or a picture of the pattern she uses for my style I'm going to be using and I'm, I think I'm going to have the part more so on this side and maybe have a swoop going across my face so we'll see what I come up with you guys and um, I'll be back to reveal um, the process and the final look and my overall review of the hair Hey guys, guess what? It is Sunday night and I got my hair installed. Ta-da! Oh, whew. Boy, was that a process, would you say, to get the hair in ready for an install. But you guys, I have to first and foremost say I am so sorry that I am unable to get a picture of my salon stylist um, braiding style for this hair. She is very shy. She's very talented, but shy. But she did not want to show her work on camera. I'm like, come on, woman. But I totally respect her. So if you live in the Austin area and you would like to try this style out or a style of your own, I will private message me and I'll send you her telephone information and everything. But I think she did a great job. Again, and this install took me a while to get used to it because one, the color is darker than my 1B30 I've been wearing all this summer, right? So it's going to take a while for my eyes to get this visually um, <laughs> used to, but I have to tell you, my stylist was like supremely impressed with the texture of this hair. She said that this Haley's Curl hair was the best texture that she has ever installed in hair. To her, this felt like actual black African American woman of color <laughs> salon textured hair and you guys it truly does you know I was fearful that this hair would feel too thick it would feel unnatural and look unnatural but when I walked around this looks like actual natural hair you guys that has been relaxed so I am really impressed with that as far as when she was installing it you know cutting the weft and everything she didn't see much shedding with it at all and um Again, she was so impressed. She's ready to go check it out herself, you guys, because this I believe they still have a sale going on at HaleyScurls.com until this Friday. So if you guys are interested in this type of hair for back to school or for your new fall look this season, definitely go check it out because it is a great deal getting it on sale. But I have to say I'm really impressed with the texture. I am really impressed because my stylist didn't curl it. She kind of cut it the way I wanted it to. And so when I got home, I took my um, Helen of Troy um, Hot Tools the, um, barrels, a one and a half or one inch barrel, and I added some waves to this hair. And let me tell you guys, you do not need to leave that curling iron on long at all. I left it on for just a couple seconds on the hair. When I let go, the hair curled really quickly. So I was really impressed with the curl time of the hair. Because you know how some textures it takes forever. It's so thick. You have to hold it there for a long time to get a curl no time at all so I was impressed with that and then it feels light it feels very light not heavy on your hair or on your track so that's a good thing too but um 
Now turn around so you can see the hair. This is the side view. This is the back. And then another side view. And I will have pictures at the end, of course, or at the beginning. I don't know which way I'll do it. But overall, you guys, I am so glad I decided to give Haley's Curls a try. And I just want to say thank you to Haley's Curls for sending my purchase so quickly to me. Um, overall, the process with um, ordering the purchase, getting the purchase, and able to have the ability to go to the website to find out step-by-step -step process on how to use the hair and care for the hair and care for your own hair was an A plus for me. So um, would I recommend people to try out Haley's Curls? Definitely so. If you're looking for a new hair install, of course I'm not going to be able to give you a four week review on this hair quite yet because it's new to me, but for just um, first impressions, first install and styling with it, I am very amazed. So again, if you're looking for something for the fall, definitely go check out Haley's Curls. And thank you again, Haley's Curl, for getting my order in time to me and for also being so helpful and messaging me via email as far as what things I can use to take care of this hair. So you guys, stay tuned. Um, I will show you in the next few videos as far as how I created this style. If you would like to see how I style this hair, it's the same as my big wavy hair curl video. But if you want to see this one in particularly, leave me some messages below. Um, if you have any ideas for different styles with this hair, leave some messages below as well. And if you like this look, stay tuned. There will either be before or after this video, um, this look featuring the Urban Decay Naked Palette. But as always, you guys, thank you so much for your input. I truly appreciate you guys coming back to my channel and rating, commenting, and subscribing. And again, two question for you. What do you think of this color on me? Is it too dark? I'm trying to get used to it. Or should I dye? Or is it too dark and should I dye it? Or should I just say go for it? It's getting close to fall. Go dark. Be edgy. Let me know. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to y'all later. Bye.